Hello, my name is Joanne Buell. I am one of three healthcare consultants and certified MAT trainers here at Child Care Council. I will serve as your facilitator for this three-part presentation on emergency care and emergency medication administration for children with severe asthma and orphalaxis. Our hope is that you will use this presentation as a go-to resource in preparing to give emergency care to these children who have a potential life-threatening condition. Each part of the series concentrates on one important aspect of emergency care. Part 1 focuses on the regulations and requirements in accepting emergency medication in your program. Part 2 will focus on an emergency care of the child with severe asthma, while Part 3 concentrates on the emergency care of the child with severe allergic reactions called anaphylaxis. You can watch all three at once or choose the part that pertains to your situation. Let's get started with Part 1. The Office of Children and Family Services, or OCFS, approved regulations that permit child care programs to keep on site the emergency medications for severe asthma or anaphylaxis emergency situations even if the program is not medication approved. The following slides will review these regulations and the paperwork you are required to have on site before you can accept these emergency medications. This slide covers the regulation requirements for accepting emergency medication in a child care program not approved to give medications. We will look a little closer at the paperwork in the next slide. For every child with a diagnosis of asthma or anaphylaxis, an individual health care plan on an OCFS approved form must be developed by the child caregiver and parent with input from the health care provider for that child. The individual health care plan is a communication tool between the family, health care provider, and the child caregiver. It outlines the emergency plan of care should an asthma or anaphylactic episode occur. A written medication consent form with the health care provider's medication instructions must be received before accepting the emergency medication. This form must be signed by the health care provider, the parent, and you, the child caregiver and it must be current. The child caregiver must be at least 18 years old to administer emergency medication. Instruction on administration of these medications must be from a parent, a health care consult consul consultant, or the primary health care provider. A child caregiver who has received instruction on emergency medication administration must be present whenever the child is in care. Please note that this presentation does not meet this regulation requirement for instruction. Emergency medication must be clearly labeled with the name of the medication and the child's full name. The medication expiration date must be current. The, medi the emergency medication must be stored out of reach of children, but within easy reach of the child caregiver. 911 must be called immediately if epinephrine is given and called if the asthma symptoms do not improve or if they worsen despite giving asthma emergency medication. It is required that if emergency medication is, is administered during program hours that it be documented on an OCFS approved medication administration form. Of course, whenever outside medical care is sought, your licensor or registrar must be contacted in an incident report made out. This slide reviews the required paperwork needed before emergency medication can be accepted. OCFS regulations require that an OCFS approved individual health care plan be completed for any child with asthma or anaphylaxis. The individual health care plan outlines the child's specific triggers, their particular signs and symptoms, the names of the approved staff who will care for the child, the emergency contact person with phone number, when to call 911, and the immediate care of the child before and after administration of the medication. This special health care plan must be signed by the parent and you, the child care giver. No health care provider or health care consultant needs sign it. The individual health care plan form is number 7006 on the OCFS website. Next, a completed written prescription medication consent form that has the health care provider's instructions and signature must accompany the medication. 
you can use the original OCFS 7002 written prescription medication consent form or our regional OCFS approved alternate, combined, the combined medication consent and medication administration log form. Contact one of the Child Care Council healthcare consultants for the combined medication consent and medication administration log form. Please note the consent form expiration date must be current. The medication consent form must be renewed every six months for children under five years old and renewed every 12 months for children five years old and older. The medication expiration date must be current as well. These expiration dates should be checked regularly according to your program health care plan. If using the OCFS number 7002 medication consent form, it is necessary to have a third required form, which is the OCFS number 7004 log of medication administration form that documents the date, time, dose, symptoms, and the name of the staff administering the medication. The OCFS log of medication administration form should be placed together with the OCFS prescription written medication consent form. The combined form has the log incorporated into it, so no additional forms are needed. Here are what these forms look like. The OCFS individual health care plan form number 007006 can be found on the OCFS website. The health care consultants at Child Care Council can help you Add the child's triggers, symptoms, and emergency plan of care should the child have an asthma or anaphylactic episode. Be sure that you and the parents sign the back of this form. This is the New York State OCFS 7002 form found on the OCFS website. This form is two-sided with the health provider's medication instructions and signatures on the front and the required parent and child caregiver signatures on the back. Periodically check the OCFS website for updated forms. The OCFS 7004 Log of Medication Administration form is used with the medication consent form. On this form, any doses of emergency medicine given to the child is documented including the symptoms that you observed that prompted you to decide to give the medication, such as severe swelling for anaphylaxis or difficulty breathing for a child with asthma. This is the top portion of the alternate combined medication consent and administration log form where the healthcare provider writes the instructions for giving the medication and signs the form. The parent signature that authorizes the child caregiver to give the medicine is placed here as well. This form is available from the Child Care Council Healthcare Consultants. This form is approved for use by our regional OCFS office. This is the bottom portion of the combined medication consent and, medic and administration log form where the caregiver signs that the medication instructions will be followed and where any emergency medication given to the child is documented. For questions on these regulations, contact your licensor or registrar. The Child Care Council Health Care Consultants are available to discuss any questions on the required paperwork as well as, and as well as the medication administration instruction or the training. Forms can be accessed on the OCFS website or by calling us here at Child Care Council. Putting these regulations into practice is outlined in Part 2 and Part 3 video presentations. Video 2 outlines the preparation for the care of a child with asthma and the proper technique for administering asthma rescue medication. Video 3 outlines the care of the child having a severe allergic reaction called anaphylaxis and the proper technique for administration of the epinephrine auto-injector medication. I encourage you to watch these short presentations and practice them if you have children with these serious conditions who require emergency medications. Thank you for watching.